Hi everyone, this is Planet Mitch from that planet5d.com place that I keep telling you about. And this is episode number 32. 32, I can really do it. Numbers, fingers, come on, they work. I'm smiling so much because this is the second time through this, because uh, I screwed it up big time the first time by using the wrong product name. Anyway, I'd never do anything like that. Today we're going to talk about flash units, right? Well, not just the flash units, but we're going to talk about the Spinlight 360. Back on episode number one, number one, I told you about the Spinlight 360 and how I was going to cover that in just a couple of days. Well, here it is, uh, episode 32, 32, and uh, I'm way behind, obviously, and I apologize to the Spinlight 360 folks uh, because it really is a cool product. Anyway, and by the way, I'm here at the lake because it's a very nice day here in St. Louis and we may not have a whole bunch of those and my daughter is in school today so again I'm doing this all by myself um, anyway alright so everybody's familiar with the speed light right and in order to diffuse the speed light they put this little dew flapper on the top with the little bouncy thing so that's supposed to make things really cool for you and make your light really diffuse, right? Well, I went and bought one of these cool things. Look, it's a little plastic cup that goes right over the top of the speed light. And you know what? That works pretty well. It works pretty well. I thought I was doing okay when I was using that. I thought, hey, I am a cool photographer guy. I'm doing flash stuff. Uh, I got my little bouncy thing. And there are several other models of this. This happened to be a really generic, cheapy one. Uh, but today I want to tell you about the Spinlight 360 because I actually used it this morning when my daughters were tromping off to school. Da -da -da. This is tromping. Tromping. Uh, when they were going off to school, we always take the traditional first day of school picture in the same spot. Uh, and now my oldest daughter is 12, 12th grade senior in high school. So that was, <laughs> shed a little tear this morning. Anyway, so let me get the spin light 360. Are you really excited? Okay, your standard speed light with the little flippy do thing and this is the basis of the spin light 360. Now, um, it looks kind of clunky, but uh, you got to get past that. It's got a Velcro strappy do thing here. And I know that's really kind of hard to see because it's black and I got a white shirt and white hair. Uh, but what happens is you take this Velcro-y part and you take the spin light base and you put it on your flash unit and then you snug down that Velcro thing and you've got a base, all right? So now you've got this cool looking base on your speed light. And you're saying to yourself, okay, Mitch, what the heck does that do for you? All right, now, what you gotta know is that there are several bazillion accessories that come with this, including a couple of bounce cards, and there are different sizes that come with, depending on the kit, and I think I brought the wrong size because I think these are too big. I think these are the big ones. And my bag's blowing away now that I've retrieved my bag. So there are these large bounce cards, and I think, like I said, I think they're the ones they sent me. Second set is actually smaller than these, so I apologize, I think I brought the wrong ones. But the small ones come in two flavors. Well, the big ones came in two flavors too, black and white, see? And I really, there's a fly on the lens, go away. The black and white ones, are, are really cool and this is the first flash modifier that I've seen on the market and there may be others okay I admit it I haven't seen everything on the market but there may be others with a black modifier um, I'm gonna put the black one away for just a second and bounce the heck out of the camera so this bounce card there's a slot right in here in the circle and so you can put the bounce card right in there and now you see you have a curved 
bounce for your flash, which goes, of course, straight ahead. And of course, you can do whatever you want to um, with that. And you see, I've got it mounted the wrong way, but yet it just spins on the base. And so it makes it very easy to get the bounce card exactly in the spot that you want it. But wait, there's more. Yes, for 19, no, I don't know what the price is. I'm sorry. For, I was making fun of a commercial, you know how they do. But wait, there's more. All right, so there is not just the bounce card itself in both the black and white flavors. There are a whole bunch of, in my pocket, additional modifiers that you can put on the inside. And there is, for example, this dome that is a translucent dome. And then there is a transparent-ish dome, which gives you, takes away some light, but still lets more light through. And then there is the half dome. You can call it a half dome, like the Yosemite Monument thing, or mountain, you think? Uh, which is cool because what you can then do is put that in here. Let me slide it in. Oh, I just, and lastly, brand new to the kit, they've got a snoot. So you can really focus the light if you want to when you're doing a bounce. So there's all of these different modifiers. Gee, I should juggle, shouldn't I? Uh, that you can use to really get the flavor of light that you want. So there are little notches in here, which you probably can't see because that's out of focus and I can't zoom in very well because I'm shooting as well as talking. But you take the half dome and you take it, it's got little notches there and you match the notches up uh, and you slide it right in there. And then you take your bounce card, and I'm gonna put the black one in there just for fun. The flash goes up, bounces around inside the half dome, reflects out on your bounce card, and then goes towards your subject, or towards the wall, or where or behind you, or towards the ceiling, if that's the way you get it set up. Whatever gives you the best light. There are, are bazillions of ways to modify the light with this one handy dandy little additional extra, which is so much better than that little plastic Dixie cup kind of thing. And I know there are people that really love the Fong thing, and I'm and it works really well in certain situations. But let me tell you, you get so much more options with the Spinlight 360. I highly recommend it uh, if you're doing much in the way. See, I locked it in there. Now I can't get it out. Uh, Spinlight360.com. And wait, I forgot. And I don't have them here because it's not in my bag. I don't know why. My simple little plastic shopping bag, which I hate these guys. I wish they'd there. But anyway, that's all another environmental story. New in the kit, when, uh, also with the snoot, they have some gels that you can now put in there to give your, uh, your flash a little bit more color. And I apologize, I don't have those with me, but you can see those on the website as well at spinlight360.com. Pulling you away from the lake for a few minutes, I wanted to give you an idea of what the different lighting environments would be with the Spinlight 360 in a simple example of stuff that I've collected on my mantle in my house. And I threw the uh, Gorillapod thing in there, not for an advertisement plug, but just to have something dark and somewhat tall uh, with a sort of a matte finish. So this is just a variety of things I had, some candles and some artwork and a lamp. Uh, this particular image is the first one without any of the Spinlight 360 attachments, and it's a standard straight-on flash. This was not pointed at the ceiling or at a wall or anything else. It's the icky, fun stuff you get when pointing your flash straight at a subject. You get harsh shadows. The first thing I did was throw the snoot on there just for fun, and you can see that uh, you get still many harsh shadows, but it's definitely pointed directly focused at your main subject. 
I didn't use the snoot anymore. I didn't point it up the ceiling or anything else. But you get some idea of what the snoot is capable of doing. So this is the dome pointed straight at the front. And then this was the dome pointed up at the ceiling. So you get a totally different flavor going back to the pointed straight. You see, uh, so you get many of these same effects with other bounce cards. This is pointing to the side. And another side shot. Uh, I don't remember all the exact settings I had, but you'll get the idea that there's a variety of, of options as I roll through some of these. Uh, some of these I had the dome on, and some I had the bounce card on, the white bounce card. I wanted to jump into this section where I put the black bounce card on. Uh, so I thought that was uh, some really interesting situations. Like the bounce, the flash is pointed here to the left, and the black portion of the bounce card is blocking the light from the front. And then I turn the black bounce card forwards, and you get a different look. So you, you get a wide variety of options, even with the black bounce card, in terms of what your lighting is going to turn out to be. Uh, this is a group of things where I was putting on the different uh, transparent dome uh, and the, the um, half dome. Uh, I don't remember exactly which. I think this is the half dome. And then I put on the colored gels, so you can see the first gel and then the, the darker gel. And this was with the uh, transparent kind of gels, uh, so they were providing a little bit more diffusion, pointed up at the ceiling. And then lastly, then I put on the little plastic dome that I showed you at the lake. And that's what I got with these two shots, was those little plastic dome things. So you see that there's a wide variety of lighting. If I scroll back quickly through here, you can certainly have a heck of a lot of impact with a single flash unit running with the Spinlight 360. Uh, I really like this particular flash accessory. Uh, I'll see if I can flash the price and label that down there on the bottom because I don't off the top of my head know what the price is. Uh, they did send me this for free for doing a review, so that's my disclaimer of the day. Uh, I love this thing. If you're doing any kind of flash photography, check out spinlight360.com. 360 because it spins all the way around. That's 360 degrees. Get it? I'm sure you do. Thanks for watching planet5d.com. Come back again the next time we post a daily Planet 5D episode. Anyway, I'm, I know I tend to ramble. Hi, this is Planet Mitch from planet5d.com with episode number 31 as the motorcycle goes by. This is a flash. This is a speed light. And it was on. I don't know why it was on. 32. 32. Ah, oh, the Daily Planet 5D. As my nose gets itchy. This is a lake, as you can see behind me. Look, geese are attacking. <laughs>